Hello to all of you and welcome to Three Years Weekly AMA. We are here with you every Wednesday at 5 p.m. And of course, we are doing this on all of our channels. We are happy to have you here, of course, and to be able to give you some additional information about Three Years Project of bringing internet to Africa. If this is your first time with us, I'm Anita Mlakar. I'm the host of these AMAs. And let me invite you also to be a part of it, to click like, write a comment, write a suggestion. You can write your answer in a chat. That's what we'll be doing today, answering the questions. You can hit the bell icon to get notifications, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be a member of our communities. We have great communities on Telegram, on Discord, and on Twitter. Sandy Bitten, CEO of 3Air, will be with us in a minute. We will give you some updates about the current situation and plans. We have special guests coming up, Oliver von Wolf. We will give away 1,000 tokens to one of you and, of course, be answering your questions. As always, I am starting with a short introduction. So 3Air was born out of the wonderful combination of traditional telecom business model paired with cutting edge microwave technology and brilliant blockchain ecosystem. So 3 is not only about connecting the unconnected, but it's also about banking the unbanked and giving people of developing countries equal opportunities. There are so many bright minds in Africa that just get unnoticed, maybe only because they don't have the means to educate themselves or communicate with the world. Connectivity is the problem in developing countries. So there is the potential of solving those problems by incorporating blockchain technology. And Africa is ready for a change. It is three years vision to provide this opportunity to such a promising nation. Free, free access to information is a basic human right and it has the power to change the world for the better. So what we want to do is connect the unconnected and give them the opportunity to shine, to change their lives and also to change ours. Let me welcome Sandy Bittens, the CEO of 3Air. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Anita. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Three Air. How are Where you? Me? How okay. is everyone? <laughs> Hello, Sandy. It has been a working week, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's been really, really a busy week. I think it's the most busiest week that, that we had in 3R. There's okay. so much going on. Yes. Are you tired? Um, well, to be honest, let me think about it. Not not <laughs> so much. I think the all the, the adrenaline and everything uh, just keeps me keeps me up. You know what? If you have to think if you're tired, then you're not probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe I just forget to be tired. Yes, but you look like you have a lot of energy. Uh, of course, you needed to be answering also the questions today and to be chatting a little bit with me and, of course, with everybody here. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Sandy, we will have a special guest coming up in a few minutes, but let's just start with, uh, with what we have to start with. We had an, a big announcement last week in AMA. And we were talking about the changes uh, regarding, of course, the project. And then a lot of discussion was going on, not only on AMA and maybe later on on Twitter, also on Friday. I think we were on Friday, but also in our community or mostly in our communities. A lot of questions. And of course, you are doing a great job, the whole team and also you answering all of them. I also took the opportunity to invite everybody to be with us here on AMA, where they're able to ask questions live and also on our Twitter space that we will be having. But Sandy, just tell us what is going on right now. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There was a lot of discussions and uh, you know, it, it, it was not at all unexpected. So the change that we made, uh, that we announced is it, it is a big one. It is a big one, it, but it it's also a necessary one. It, it really is. Um, so this change that we are talking about, if somebody still didn't hear it, is the mm -hmm. fact that we are moving away from Cardano and that you're right now in, in the uh, process of selecting a new chain that we'll build on. And I've been writing all the blogs um, the, the whole week and there are some more coming out. 
um, about how we are going with, uh, you know, what, what's the reasoning behind it and everything. And uh, we'll be announcing our, our new chain pretty soon. Um, we, we are actually just, just there to, to sign a, a contract. Um, everything has been kind of agreed, um, but I cannot announce it. So it's still not signed. That's one thing. And the other thing is we cannot pre-announce it because if we pre-announce it, then then no no, no media will actually pick it up. So media doesn't, they, they you know, it, then they'll just say it's old news. So uh, I'm sorry, I would really, really like to tell you uh, which one it is, but I, I do want to have the, the additional publicity that comes, uh, you know, through media houses picking it up. So it might be on Friday. Uh, but if uh, if not, uh, then then it'll be latest on Tuesday next week. So this is for sure coming. And also the other thing that we were that we were talking about is that because we are doing such a big uh, change, um, that we will be offering refunds to the ones that are actually um, bound really to Cardano, maybe invested in three R just uh, uh, because of Cardano um and um yeah of course you know we need to be uh, fair and and offer them the the possibility of, of an exit so um, this is coming this is also coming next week we'll, we'll have everything sorted out till till wednesday so a lot of announcements coming next week yeah. <laughs> hopefully another one really really big one and that's going to be a huge one um so um we've, we've been working a lot on a project um that's kind of also been agreed and it's just before uh before being signed so let's see you know there will be some some minor details uh, probably in the contracts but once that gets signed um it is going to be a huge announcement really looking forward to the week that is coming up and all the announcements and everybody everything that that will be said i have to take this one in uh sandy because it is funny are you warning us of something uh because of your t-shirt <laughs> i have a new t-shirt people noticed so, uh it's like yeah it's choking hazard <laughs> it's just a t-shirt right <laughs> it is a t-shirt yes <laughs> okay now Sandy, um, I know that people, of course, want to know what is going on. And with people coming in, they're not, you know, maybe in the community the whole time. The same questions are popping out every day. And you're answering again and again to all of them. I'm sure that some of them will also be asked today, the same ones. But this is what you're doing right now, is really letting people know about everything, you know, what they want to know, giving the information, educating them. This is a very important uh, part right now, right? Yeah, you know, we you know that we are always running things transparent as much as possible, and um, I think uh, I think we should be, you know, explaining to people what we are actually doing. Um, uh, it's the least that we can do. And um, I don't have a problem with it until it really goes to some stuff that are really, you know, just illogical and just fud. And and um, but to be honest, I think we no no I know we we, we actually only needed to ban one person uh, because it's just you know the conversation wasn't going anywhere at all. So uh, but but else. Um, I need to I need to say that it's pretty okay in um, in the sense of uh, what 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 usually comes through through such changes and uh, through through bigger communities um, and, and as I said so and there was a lot of talk about Cardano I would I would love to talk more about three years so please start start asking questions about three year not about Cardano um, three year was never three year was never Cardano we were meant to you know we were we were there because we wanted to build on cardano because we were uh kind of um drawn by by their by their narrative by their whole idea and everything uh but it was for us it was a tool you know it's like i don't know just imagine 
imagine you you need to go somewhere really important i don't know your wife is giving birth or i don't know you have a million dollar deal you need to do somewhere so uh, you you go in a taxi and you say the taxi take me to this place and uh then you tell him i want to go you know the cardano route and then he drives and drives and then there's an obstacle on uh, or a, a traffic jam or something like that on the road and then he just takes another road and but he gets you on time there but if you would stay on that the, the road with the traffic jam you would actually lose on uh, on the deal you now would you would you be angry at him or would you actually give him a tip uh, it's it's like this so the the idea behind 3r never changed so we 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 don't it's not um that um we need to build on cardano so to to achieve what we set out and that is actually to connect people in africa uh we can build on on multiple different chains and um as as already explained so many times cardano was our first choice and it didn't work out and i and i already explained why it didn't work out so we are just now taking another route it's it's the only thing we're going the same direction to the same endpoint uh i am laughing a little bit because i'm reading the comments you know they're really in the good mood today also richard said because of course he wants to know what is the name of the new road <laughs> good question i would really so I, I would so like to tell you um uh hopefully friday so it's just two days of waiting um so if <laughs> if everything is ready for for uh, the the media announcement so it's mostly just about the media once once they are ready to announce it uh, then we'll we'll go but if they're not picking it up at all then uh tuesday is the is the last one so friday is the first one that we are that we are ready then over the weekend nothing happens monday for for media is kind of too busy day to to get in some new stuff and so on and then tuesday is is the is the day that we said that we are breaking the news either way whatever yeah yeah there are a lot of questions of course coming uh in today and sandy will be the one answering them, them a little later when there will be time for questions and the answers because right you, you can write them down of course uh they will be waiting for us but right now it is time to welcome our guest oliver von wolf is with us and it is very nice to greet you, Oliver, and welcome you. Hi. Hi, Anita. Hi, Sandy. Hello. <laughs> Thank you very much, Anita. It was a very nice pronouncing of my name. <laughs> was it good? Yeah, it was good. It was, was very good. I uh, heard many, uh, many ways, but it was very good. Thank you so much. Also, thank you much for the invitation today. And... Uh, as much I heard already, there will be a lot of changes uh, coming up now, Sandy. So we're all looking forward to this. And um, yeah, so it will be very interesting. Oliver, we are happy to have you here today for a little bit longer than <laughs> the last time. Yeah, I really have to apologize. This was really between two doors, how we say in Germany. Yeah, so, and, uh, but just sometimes happened. But thank you yeah, very much. I, yeah, I, I know, I know the, the, the level of, uh, of uh, engagement that was there. Um, so I, I fully understand why you needed to go. Okay. Thank you so much. Now we are interested. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. But you know, he said that the last time when we were together. So I thought, okay, now he said it again, Sandy. So, you know, <laughs> I was just wondering. No, no. Oliver, before uh, we have, of course, a couple of questions yes. for you, let me let me introduce you just uh, uh, shortly. So you are a managing director of CV Labs Dubai, also a managing director of Crypto Oasis and CVVC. Uh, and you are also the advisor of 3Air. Oliver, you have more than 14, 15 years of ex executive experience and knowledge of finance and banking, a master of management and business administration with a wealth of expertise in um, M&A capital markets, investment banking, and financial reporting, and a proven track record in company transformation and growth and significant experience in international markets through Europe, North America, Asia, and the Middle East. 
That's all me, yes. <laughs> that's not, not not all, of course. But just... No, but I said it's, it's uh, thank you very much. So, <laughs> so maybe for starters, uh, Oliver, on what subjects are you advising 3Air? Actually, uh, I advise through air most likely in financial advisory uh, uh, on the one side, and of course blockchain. And I try to help three air with with the network what we have here in Dubai for Africa uh, in specific. So, and uh, most likely, I think we have quite a lot of meetings. So we had quite a lot of meetings, and wherever it's possible, let's say from from our side, we try to push three air um, because. We are also like a partner of our ecosystem here in Dubai, and we are always interested uh, that our ecosystem partners are moving forward. Yes. What is your opinion about this idea, you know, of uh, banking the unbanked and everything that is coming with it? Actually, I would see it more like from a macroeconomic perspective. Uh, Africa has, uh, if, if you look from a macroeconomic perspective, for example, for Dubai, Uh, it's always important to have infrastructure, talents, and capital. I would say Africa has uh, capital and also a lot of talents. So CV Labs just opened a couple months ago in uh, Cape Town, also in offices. And uh, one of the reasons are because there are a lot of, let's say, talent people in the blockchain area. What I want to say with this, it's, it's a bit of pity in the world economy that a lot of people got uh, excluded of the economic chain. And bringing three air to Africa means uh, to bring more people back uh, to, an, uh, to the economic chain and to the value of it. Especially if we look, for example, at the moment, um, at least when they have internet, they can have a wallet. And when they have a wallet and internet, then they can participate somehow in buying, selling, producing, uh, and offering their products worldwide. And I think so 3 a has a really significant role in this because the technology what they're providing to Africa is a really unique technology. Thank you. Thank you for this. You are all invited, of course, to, to ask questions if you have a question for Oliver. Um, I have another one, of, of course. Uh, you have uh, really a lot of experience in banking sector. Would you say there is... A, major change or transformation happening right now in this sector? Yeah, I think there is an, a major change uh, in this section. And um, unfortunately, it's a bit difficult to uh, uh, to forecast it. And I don't have this crystal ball to, to look inside. But I think there's a significant change coming. I'm not saying that there will be no banking in the future anymore. We need the banks. They have a central function. But I think the picture of the banks will change. So we get less, I would say, branches of banks. If you just look to Dubai, uh, Mashrek Banks has been closed, I think, 40% of the branches over the last months. And we see that the, uh, the trend, let's say, is going more and more uh, to like digital banks, digital wallets, uh, online portals. So... I think in five to 10 years, uh, uh, the person who still have like a relationship manager by a bank can be very happy. But I think the bank will significant change. Also, if you look uh, about, uh, let's say, the fees and the payments and especially uh, have been excluded of many reasons. Yeah. Uh, people from the economic uh, system over the last year. So I think it's a great opportunity to bring all these people back and to help to make this world to a better place. You know, knowing the field of crypto market and of course transactions, and we are talking about Africa. Now, how is the situation with this crypto regulations in Africa? That's a very good question, actually. I'm not a really specialized, uh, a specialist on this. I just can say we have a lot of demand from Africa. It means startups coming from Africa to us. They want to open here uh, in the DMCC in Dubai. Uh, a legal entity uh, to develop things and to bring good things to Africa back. So most investors, they have a bit an issue about investing directly in Africa uh, because of sometimes not very clear legal structures yeah, and rights. So they're trying to use Dubai as a kind of bridge uh, um, uh, to bring their products or their software or developments or whatever back to Africa. But we have very good examples in Africa, uh, for example, in Ghana and as well, like in, in other countries uh, who are developing or have a strong developing in the blockchain and in the crypto part. 
Yeah, and uh, actually, we are very happy that we're getting more and more connected with this blockchain, small ecosystems, but ecosystems. Yeah, and I think that's a wonderful thing to see how African people are really interested and challenged to build up an ecosystem in the blockchain part uh, together with uh, with Dubai, with with the region Middle East. Yeah. yeah, I also think that Africa is actually, you know, it's hard to speak about Africa as, as a whole. Yeah. So there are so many countries there. Africa is so huge. Um, and um, yeah, the regulation isn't really, really um, so much in place. Um, I, I know I've been a lot in contact with, uh, with Nigeria and um, the, the blockchain uh, communities there. And they're actually uh, kind of, because kind of Nigeria goes uh, for the one country that that had uh, um, you know, they they had their in Naira out um, and they banned crypto, uh, but they said that you know the end user doesn't feel it at all. So everybody is free to use. They actually can use Binance. They use Binance the most, and you know, they also have a local exchange and everything. So um it's um i i think africa knows that they really need to adopt it uh, kind of um because it's the only way that they can a bit overtake uh or or at least um you know go al alongside with, with the with the um it's a more developed world but i know that oliver knows a lot about uh, regulations here in, in in dubai right Yes, uh, of course, I know a bit more about Dubai. Uh, as you said, Sandy, Africa is a very diversified market. Uh, it's uh, difficult to really see what's going on there. Uh, principally, I think we have good examples. I just want to mention maybe one. It's, it's, it's Uganda, who has built up a very nice blockchain ecosystem. Yeah, and also are great in mining and using uh, blockchain technologies for the bank accounts, which are most likely mobile phones or telephone numbers for them. So we see that there's a development and people are willing to go further with this and they're looking for the opportunity to participate on all of this. So about the regulation in Dubai, um, uh, I can say a couple of sentences. Um, uh, Dubai has been done a great job, let's say, since most likely 2018, yeah, when there was the first uh, Future Foundation established uh, a, a kind of global blockchain council. And then already 2018, I think, was uh, we got the Emirates blockchain uh, strategy. Yeah? And based on this, Dubai got developed over the last year in a very, uh, I think, uh, process way. Uh, here in the DMCC, uh, we, we have like uh, more or less four different licenses for the blockchain part. It is the Propriety trading crypto licenses, the DLT license. We have now a very new NFT license, a metaverse license. I know the DMC compliance uh, management work also uh, in uh, adapting more licenses to the market. So we see here on the one side, uh, DMCC is one of the most progressive free zones, I would suggest uh, here for Dubai. They have around 10% of the GDP of Dubai, so they're very, uh, they play a big role, let's say, for the economy uh, in Dubai. They're very progressive going forward. And of course, the DMCC, they have also like a lot of connections to Africa through the uh, diamond, uh, gold business and other uh, businesses, uh, most likely commodity. This is originally where they came from. But we also see in other um, free zones here, for example, in ADGM, uh, we have a strong development. Also now the DBTC started to adopt uh, crypto and blockchain in their kind of licenses. But at the moment, uh, I would say the DMCC is the strongest ones which, when it comes to the, to the execution of the licenses. So all over in the UAE, we have right 550 blockchain companies. This sounds not so big, but it's quite huge. If we look to Switzerland, to the Crypto Valley, so we name it in Dubai Crypto Oasis, and in Switzerland is Crypto Valley to so a bit have a diversification between two uh, these two ecosystems. If we look to uh, Crypto Valley in Switzerland and uh, Liechtenstein, we have like 1,050 companies with over 5,000 employees. And here in Dubai, we have uh, now like 550 over, let's say, one year. Uh, what is such? I would say it's a huge development in just the numbers. Yeah? And uh, 
180, 190 of them are already like onboarded in the DMCC and more than half of them are with us in the crypto center. So I think we see here is going, they're developing very fast. And uh, of course, my personal vision would be to make Dubai to the capital city of blockchain and crypto in the world. But let's see how this will, will end. Yeah, but I'm very optimistic about, uh, let's say, uh, Dubai and, and the UAE, uh, UAE in general. Mm -hmm. uh, in what ways are you attracting companies, you know, to, to come to Dubai? I mean, the main attractive is, uh, and I'm just coming back, I want to uh, use these three pillows as capital, uh, talents and infrastructure. Dubai has been built up over the last 10 years, a great infrastructure to support startups. Yeah, uh, we have a lot of talents, especially through COVID, a lot of uh, high educated people, they, they came to Dubai. Yeah. And they bring the ideas, they bring the visions, they bring the know-how to participate in, in this process. Yeah, and then, of course, uh, Dubai, UAE, they, you find a lot of capital for startups as well. So I think uh, that's the right environment. And I would be very happy if we can produce or develop together something uh, like this for Africa. I think uh, for Africa, it's very important. Um, I mean, as more participants on the market, as more regulation is needed, I think regulations on developed markets are important at one point. Yeah, but at the moment in Africa, I don't see this topic so much. And I just see they're doing uh, a huge, let's say, groundwork uh, with developing of the ecosystem and blockchain and different technologies. And I'm very happy to see this. So talents are in Africa enough. They just have to be get picked up by companies yeah, or by governments to develop this uh, further. So and then capital and infrastructure, infrastructure get built by 3Air, hope, yeah, in the yeah. future. Yeah, uh, and of course, then uh, capital, um, uh, there's capital on the African market. Uh, there are smaller ticket sizes as in other countries. Yeah, so even with smaller ticket sizes, you can have a huge impact to small developing uh, or, or developments in, in Africa. And I think yeah. that's a great environment to start. Uh, there is, of course, a, a great need for a common regulations also in Africa, but from your point of view and your experiences, is that even possible to have these common regulations? I don't know if it will be a common regulation. If you look to, uh, to the US or even to Europe, you see it looks more like a puzzle. Yeah, so let's see if this puzzle will have a completely picture at the end. Yeah, and we all hope it will be a positive one. And uh, but I think Africa is a huge opportunity for Africa to implement this kind of structure and the ec ec economic flow. Yeah. And so and as I said, a lot of uh, rulers and leaders in Africa, they understood this opportunity for their country. And I think we have uh, we will see the very good developments as well. Could we already speak about the impacts of crypto in Africa? I think the impact we already see because more and more small and middle-sized company who will be outside of the economic flow, they are got integrated. Yeah, if you just think, uh, I mean, uh, a couple of years ago, at the moment, if you produce something, you have to work from one city maybe to the other one. It takes 20 kilometers, whatever, half a day to walk this. And uh, with the technology from 3Air, it's possible that they have internet and they get connected, yeah. And as I said, then with, with a wallet or payment system, they're able to participate on this. And this is what happened. I just want to mention Uganda again, what I think is a very good example because of the weak banking situation. They implemented the bank accounts over uh, their, their mobile phones. Yes. So it's a kind of, I don't want to say wallet, but it's a kind of... Uh, um, how to say, to surround this, the traditional banking area. And I just think uh, crypto and blockchain will speed up this a bit more, yes. So from what you said, there is a big potential of 3Air and their project in Africa. Yeah, I mean, it's not only about 3Air technology for Africa. I think every region who has a, a topic with um, maintenance or Let's make digging cables underground. Yeah, uh, 3 air is a solution for this. Yeah, and uh, but especially uh, in Africa, I think uh, to reduce the, the costs to provide a, a good internet uh, to to customers or to people there, 
uh, through airs, it's a very good solution. Yeah, because the, the investment costs are lower, and uh, let's say the outcome of one of this uh, three air tower stations is great to support, like a range of 50 kilometers or something like this. I mean, Sandy, you know more about the techniques than I am. Yeah. So, but it, that's a great, uh, that's really a great uh, opportunity. So it means with three, four of these towers, you most likely can, 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 can give a whole big town in Africa the opportunity to participate in what's happened in the world. Maybe just this question, Oliver, what is the big role of CV Labs and CVVC? What exactly is the role? What are you doing? I mean, CV Labs is uh, or CVVC is original an, uh, a venture capitalist for early blockchain companies. So we develop full regulated uh, uh, crypto and blockchain products, uh, certificates for the stock market in Switzerland. Yeah, and besides, uh, we build up together with partners uh, Europe's biggest uh, blockchain ecosystem, Crypto Valley in Switzerland. Yeah, and we're doing the same now here uh, for Middle East. Uh, so let's say uh, the capital of blockchain is currently the DMCC. Uh, if we look from a, like a micro perspective in Dubai, and uh, we want to extend uh, uh, the Crypto Aces idea, like Crypto Valley here in, in, uh, in the MENA region, uh, Crypto Aces, to also to other countries here in, here in the MENA region. I think they're very interesting markets like Bahrain, Saudi Arabia coming up. And I think it's just the right time to, uh, to go forward with such a project. Yeah, because the demand is here of the companies. Okay, maybe just a little personal questions because you have so many knowledge and so many experiences. You have been in so many companies working with so many uh, people. Do you have any personal goals, you know, that you still want to achieve? Oh, yes, of course, I have personal goals, but I think the biggest personal uh, goal is healthiness and happiness. Yes. <laughs> so uh, and then if you do everything right, uh, all the good things coming to you. Yeah. So but uh, from a crypto Oasis perspectives, we really would like to build up our ecosystem here in Dubai, at least until thousand companies at the end of this year. And of course, we would like to keep the percentage which are onboarded in the DMCC by approximately 30% uh, to stay here in this like leadership role uh, for the MENA region. Great. And then it would be nice maybe to open um, like an, an, an office some, somewhere else, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, to get a bit more uh, a global focus or UAE focus. And But we will see this. I think, you know, if, if you follow the flow a bit, then uh, uh, the flow will show you where the demand for it, for this is. And we are more than happy to uh, to expand our ideas and also the ecosystem. Thank you very much, Oliver. Maybe Sandy will has another question. Sandy, is there something else you would like to ask Oliver? Yeah, yeah what I'm, are your I'm personal asking... goals? <laughs> <laughs> I I am asking uh, Oliver uh, constantly questions, so I think yeah. I know. Uh, yeah. So uh, right now uh, I no I we, we just spoke before. I ask him everything already uh, for, for today, tomorrow, another one. Okay. Oliver, thank you very much for being with us and answering all these questions. Uh, of course, stay in the team and give good advices. They'll be needed. Thank and so uh, hope uh, at some other opportunity that we will speak again also in our AMA. Maybe, yeah, maybe this one is something that you can, that you can actually answer. You see it on the screen? Um, uh, Brody <laughs> asked the question. If Sandy is listening, if to, your Sandy advice, listening to your advice, am I listening to your advice? We work on this. Our Swede is very uh resistant. <laughs> no, no, I think we're doing very well, and uh, Sandy and I we have a lot of connecting points here. And uh, I think uh, it's not about listening to someone, it's about uh focusing on the right solution. And the best thing is always to have a good team behind. And I think Sandy 3 Air, they are a very good team, yeah. So and I think uh, it's very nice working together with you guys. And I have to say, um, 3 Air is very strong in execution. So it means it's a very good investment for the future because the guys, they, most, they really, they, uh, they keep their promises and they move forward. And I think uh, congratulations to this team. And uh, so, what you did so far. 
thanks thanks oliver and thanks for all your help also so yeah, we wouldn't be right. here without you that's for sure thank you very much so, and see nice you at some you. other occasion thank you for being with us thank you guys thank you. also to the community stay bye. safe thank bye. you bye bye oliver so that was oliver von wolf <laughs> and now it's time, Sandy, of course, to be answering some more questions that are coming in. And there are some of them or a lot of them. And I think I'm going to start from the top, you know, and then just go down to see what uh, people would like to know, uh, members of our community. Now, this is the first question. How long will it take to make the program to be used by the end consumer now that a new chain will be utilized? So um, we are a bit uh, um, in um, uh, how to say a bit a bit late um, now in, in on our roadmap. But um, as we are choosing now EVM, it's going to be far easier to develop things, and we have a you know a big uh, not only not, not the community. So in in house, we have a lot of developers that can that can really do the work. Um, in parallel, and I'm pretty sure that we'll, we'll even be faster than, than we set out to be in the beginning. So I think it's time to that we, um, it, there is enough time that we can launch uh, as we set uh, or in, in Q3. Um, and um, what will be a bit delayed is opening up uh, a new country, but that might let's see some something might be really coming um, and um, it won't be uh, a, a big of a delay, let's say it like this. But for the for the platform, I really don't think that will be will be late, and uh, mm, the development will go much much faster than it was than it was going uh, up until now. Okay, there's a question from Tolga. What is exact situation about token being released now, ended or still ongoing? No, the token will be released, and um, we might even release the token in um, in February. Although it won't be um, immediately usable for for trading, so uh, the vesting period will start when when uh, uh, when we do the, the next pre-sale round. So we'll do a, another public pre-sale, but the tokens will be minted. Um, I, I I really think that we'll do it already in February. But if not, it's going to be early March. And then we said that uh, by the end of March, uh, beginning of April, something like that, we calculate to, to have another uh, short uh, pre-sale round like for a week only, and then, then we go live. OK. Now, there are a lot of technical questions also in the community. Uh, and this is also the one uh, website for setting MetaMask is not allowing to connect wallet. Will you just give a little explanation about that? So how you do it, um, if, if you're on a computer, it shouldn't be a problem at all. It's really straightforward. What you need to do is install the MetaMask browser extension. And um, then you then the next, once this is installed, um, if you refresh the page, uh, you'll be able to sign a transaction. It may be that you need to sign it two times. It's just how MetaMax works. Sometimes you need to sign two transactions, and this will this will what will what it will give you us is your uh, wallet address. So there will be no mistakes in uh, no inserting wallets, uh, and then you will have the next option. Either you want to create a new account. Um, and um, then you'll just go through the process that it was there before, just without the emails. No more emails will be needed. But if you had a uh, account before, then you need to connect it. And how you connect it is uh, that you need to send a link to your email again and uh, connect it through there. We just we needed to do this because uh, we we don't want that people just uh, steal your account. So if we if you don't need to confirm your email, that would be pretty easy. So uh, this is uh, what needs to happen. The other thing is that it's a bit more tricky on uh, on a phone, and it's just the trick is that you need to install MetaMask as an app, and then you need to open up MetaMask, and in the menu in the MetaMask, it's uh, it says browser. And MetaMask has its own browser. And you then just go and connect, um, uh, go to presell.3r.io in this browser inside the MetaMask. And also then when you when you connect it to your email, there'll be 
a link. Um, so we, we are now in the email, we are sending uh, two, two links uh, as buttons. So the first one you use if you just uh, want to open it up normally on your computer. The second one opens it up on, on a phone directly in the MetaMask. And if this doesn't work for for uh, because not, not all wor uh, phones work the same, then just below it, it's a text string uh, that, that's the link. And then you just copy this text string in uh, the MetaMask browser. So I, I've been talking now a lot, but it's, it's really not uh, hard. Um, what you need to know is that you need to uh, use, if you're on the phone, you need to use the MetaMask browser, the browser that's inside the MetaMask, and everything will work out. Okay, there were some te technical explanations. Please, Evangelos is saying, please inform us about the development process. This means that it will go back to ground zero? N not totally, not totally. So some things we won't be able to use, that's for sure. But you need to know that the majority of the development uh, majority, it's like 60% is, is actually planning for it and coding is only 40%. So the planning will stay almost the same. Of course, there are a bit, uh, um, some, some differences, um, but, but not a lot. So most of the planning will, will stay, um, but the majority of other things is, is not really reusable. Um, I don't see this as a big problem. So as said, in regards to time and cost, we'll, we'll be able to make it up 10 times probably. Okay, Danilo is asking, what is with giveaways and New Year coins on Cardano network? Um, all the, the, the people that participated and won in the giveaways, um, they'll be um ported to the new app now so they'll also go to the pre-sale app not right now don't do it right now it's not ready we'll we'll announce it and we'll send out emails to, to each and everyone um so if you already have a pre-sale account you'll just be able to to log in with your metamask uh, and and connect it and uh that's uh, that's it you you'll have your tokens and you'll see them there um but if not then we'll then you'll just reply to your um to the email that we'll send you and um you'll send us back your um metamask wallet address and we'll put it into our system and then you'll be able to connect it um, um without putting any emails or, or nothing uh, in you just go on the the website connect your metamask and uh, everything should be inside we just we need to make some changes because the flow changes uh we, we will not be requesting any kyc's uh, for um for the winners of uh, giveaways or, or airdrops because we don't need to um so this we need to change a bit so mm -hmm. we'll, we'll have two different uh two different flows by the way we will be giving away thousand tokens today too a little later <laughs> Uh, let's do it now let's do it now okay. you know, uh, the, the the last time when we do it in the end we usually then just don't get the information in yeah. between so um I, do you remember who won uh, uh, last week because we didn't get the info so if you won last week and you're here just write us uh, write something in the comment where we can contact you and uh, we'll, we'll get you the the thousand tokens but um let's see today let's uh let's select someone yeah right yeah. now so he has the time or she has the time okay will you do it i should do it okay let's just go with joga the last uh, two three comments he had the last three joga okay and we do need um, a handle a twitter handle or something so that yeah. we have the right address then to send it to Okay. Congratulations. And there's a question. Because of all the changes, is the t-shirt content still relevant? Um, no, sorry, that was, um, no, it's just a t-shirt. I, I wasn't even thinking about it. I just, I like the, you know, that I like the, uh, the t-shirts and this is actually a new one. Um, and uh, I just put it on. I think it's funny. I like it. 
I just don't know if if the problem of choking hazard is because he has the mask on and he has trouble breathing, or he really you know wants to choke someone or something like that. I don't know. Oh my god! Now I know I'm not supposed to ask that, but I'm not such a big fan of what what is that? Star Wars, right? That's Star Wars, yeah. I mean, I'm not that I'm not a fan. I, I don't know so much about it. So who is the hero here in in the front of your shirt? I know that you will be killing me right now, but. I don't think that he's really the hero here. <laughs> he's a bad guy, right? Kind of, yeah. Um, I really, I think there's there's another one uh, that I wanted to buy, and it says uh, number one father. And I think that's hilarious. But you don't know if you didn't see it, then then you don't know probably what it is about. But that one is really really good one. I just I didn't buy it because I'm not a father, so I was like. Um, Hmm. Should I have it? Hmm. Then I say no. <laughs> okay, so now if I get Sandy back to the question of Joe Ga, because of all the changes, is the t-shirt contest still relevant? Uh, a t-shirt contest? Okay, yeah. I, I saw that content. A contest? Yes, yes. Oh, no, it's okay. It was. A we, good are not, we are not changing. Uh, we are not uh, um, changing any designs or something like that. We'll, we'll do a bit of redesigning, but just slightly, nothing else. Okay. Yeah. Now there's another question. How much EVM engineers does 3Air have on board? Uh, let's see. We, we have a bit over 40 engineers. I don't actually know who who's the one that really knows EVM, but... Uh, Let's let's have Rock one time again on uh, the the call, um, but it's it's at least ten, so that I can say it's at least ten that that are really good in writing smart contracts. So um, it's it's enough, and uh, not everything goes actually on the smart contract of of what of what we're doing. So there's a lot of other stuff that also need to be done. Um, but yeah, we are we really are good equipped in that in that manner okay thanks for thank you for explaining so tg in march is uh from coming from lawrence yes so let me explain tge means token generation event so tge will be either end of february or big or somewhere in march um and uh the tokens will be created the tokens will be put into a vesting contract we'll publish all the the smart contracts the token smart contract will publish the the vesting uh, contracts you'll be able to see everything on chain and follow what's going on and uh, we'll also put the the um, uh, contracts up for for audit and uh, but the vesting won't start until we actually list on uh, on an exchange, um, if if we if we list the tokens up front, people just can go and just um, start uh, um, making pairs on some some decentralized exchanges and so on. And we really don't want this because it's going to be chaos. So the vesting will start once uh, once we provide the first liquidity and um, have everything set up, and that will kind of be in the beginning of of April just i think first or second week or something like that that's the the current timeline we're still all working out the details because of all the changes that we're making uh but this should be doable yeah okay now uh, there's also a question from our winner today will some early staking be available after tg um I, yeah we were we were talking about this and um we, we will try to pull uh, the the staking up front just to to you know, bring some additional value and um we might change that part a bit and and really pull it uh, up front so um i i'm not giving you any any guarantees but uh, we'll be working on it and um, I think it should be doable, yeah. Okay. Now, Lawrence Arabia is writing, choose me once for God's sake. That I think is that is for the tokens. But I do remember that I chose Lawrence for something once. Lawrence, please do write down. I do have that in my head. Do you remember, Sandy? I know that we gave something to Lawrence. So maybe it was a book or something when we gave it away. Lawrence, do tell. 
Okay, let's see if there are any more. Oh, okay, we have a Twitter handle. Thank you very much, Joga, for this. So the tokens will be delivered. Great. And he also says that we are an awesome community. Thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, may the force be with three air. I know that this is from Star Wars. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> and Petra says, haha, number one father. This is a good one. So she knows. <laughs> this one is really hilarious. Petra, you will have to explain it to me, okay? Now there is another question. Any idea of token value at launch? Um, we are working the out the tokenomics, so um, we'll we'll it it's gonna be higher than we than what we set out to be in the beginning. There is another question: Is it expected to reach the soft cap in this last round, or could we face a new round? No, uh, we are not. We're not doing any additional rounds. So this is it. This is the one. Um, it is. So we have enough funds to be able to build the the platform. the The soft cap is there to um, for us to be able to open up a new country ex and expand faster. So um, if we let me the 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 news that I was telling you about um, that might come pretty soon that we've been working on um, really for a long time. It is about opening up a new country. So it might be that a a country will be opening up pretty pretty quickly even without us hitting the soft cap. So that would bring that would just bring you know so much additional value to it would be the same as if we would hit the soft cap and sold a lot of tokens up front but we are actually not doing it and uh, we're still getting the benefits so um it's um that's why i'm telling you it's really huge news but it needs to happen um but either way we are we are not doing another round so this is this is uh, now I, I I don't even really like to do this round, but there were so many things happening in between, and we really had such a bad bad market. And um, we said now we have the time to we we need some time to um, correct things and uh, to um, set everything up for for on on a new chain. So we'll we'll take this time, prepare again, and just do another quick round and uh, whatever we get in we'll be happy with and then we just um, uh, and that's it we're, we're not uh, then we are just going and uh, uh, for uh, yeah I cannot say TG now because TG will have before but uh, we'll provide the liquidity and the trading will start af afterwards okay I have another question I just remembered because it was also asking the community is it possible for those who are staying in to buy tokens from those who are getting out there was a question in it if they can you know buy their tokens well uh, the, we, the... we we won't prevent it we won't prevent it let's say it like this so uh but if, if somebody agrees and uh to be honest i think that that'll be probably really the cheapest to 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 get the tokens because tokens won't be as cheap as they were uh up until now i think that's that's uh but as I said, so we we won't be helping you with it. We won't be facilitating it. But if somebody wants to switch a, an account or um, something like that, uh, that that will be possible. Okay. Uh, Shah is asking, what's the interest like in Nigeria for 3 Air? Um, what's the interest in Nigeria for 3 Air? Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Well, that that was the question. Um, the, I, I whoever I speak to in Africa and tell them what we can bring to Africa is like, wow, you know, when are you coming to our country? It's uh, yeah. So we are bringing to Africa something that's not there. Um, even if they have good mobile uh, connectivity, uh, it's it's still not the same as having a really broadband. And uh, the prices that we'll be able to offer are, are far more competitive. Um, and we'll also be offering so really high speeds. Um, we'll, um, and um, 
it's it's really um, reliable, and we don't have capped data. So once I once I mentioned that no data is capped, it's it's all also like like binding. Um, you need to know that the faster the internet becomes, the more data is actually consumed. So that's that's kind of logical, right? And then the the the, the faster the internet is, the 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 sooner everybody runs out of their mobile plans. So um, yeah. It's it's for sure something that uh, will be welcomed. I'm I'm pretty sure nobody would say no to it in Africa. Okay, there's a question or maybe a challenge for you. Can you and your team make an uh, an explanation video connecting three air and MetaMask as the majority is still used to Cardano wallets? Um. Yeah. So of course, of course, we can do. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, it's it's kind of the same as with the Nami wallet on Cardano. Uh, it's just that there's a different one, but it's it's kind of it's a bit similar. Um, and uh, I, I don't even know if Nami has a app, so if you can use it on on a phone. Um, yeah, of course, we'll we'll do it. We'll do this. Okay, I think we went through all the questions. If there is another one, of course, do write it down. But you know, Lawrence is saying that he got the book but did not receive the email. So, Lawrence, you should be in contact with us. Sandy, how should we solve this? Lawrence, if you. Sandy? Just, uh, okay, you, you yeah. froze for a while. Okay, what was the answer? Um, if you if you didn't receive an email, we, we sent we sent the emails out. So just uh, contact somebody from the team, or just contact me on any on any social media and let me know, and uh, we'll we'll send you the book. Yeah, no worries. Okay, I think we did. This is unbelievable. Oh, 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 okay. I just wanted to say that we did answer all the questions, and then I think that the new ones came in just a minute. Uh, Okay, there is opinion. Or maybe we could show it. <clears throat> Exchanging tokens of the grid can give bad results, but if we are well convinced with the project, okay, then it goes further. <laughs> we can strengthen our positions acquiring these tokens, but in the same process as the previous purchase, my opinion, says Nuno. Yeah, it's it, it it was it was a question, so I just answered it. Um, I, I'm not telling you should do it. I'm not telling you should do it. So um, I'm telling you we won't be kind of and we we practically cannot really uh, prevent it if if somebody wants to um, kind of switch the account there um, and then just connect his own MetaMask to it. That's it. So then then you have control over over um the the account is just right now it's pretty easy to switch the kind of uh, uh kind of ownership if somebody wants to sell it it's, it's not something that we would be able to actually prevent um so it's up to you i'm not telling you you should do it and you should really make sure that you are that you are not getting scammed and somebody is selling you something that's not there and so on so you need to see you need to look at the at the the account and everything if you would decide to do it but uh no in in case of any doubt just don't do it that's that's my um yeah advice okay sandy we have another minute I think it's just enough time to say bye bye, uh, and of course, um, the last words from you. Um, well, you got me there. Um, my last words <laughs> right now. I'm already focused on my next next task. So um, I I have uh, uh, one more call with the US, and um, I need to finish the article. So that's it. Um, my my last words is is really um, don't don't think about um, the thing that we that we gone off of Cardano. It's it's nothing that would really make anything different in regards to Sphere. Um, how it will function? Um, it didn't change any of the team members. Nothing. Um, really this mission is the same everything stays the same you're just going forward and we are we are certain that this is the right path and uh that um things will go much smoother 
than they they went up until now and uh even with the even with the chain announcement you'll see the difference you'll see the difference the chain announcement was actually something that we were hoping we would be able to do together with cardano um but it just it just didn't work out um so this is this will be the first thing that will show you that we are that we are really on the right path i'm pretty sure of that thank you very much sandy for those last words at least for today of course <laughs> and uh, looking forward to everything that will be happening in the communities thank you very much for being active all of your questions are always welcome and uh, it is nice to see that you are talking about it and uh, asking questions and also answering them in some way not only the team but also other in the community and it's time of course to go on thank you very much sandy mm -hmm. have a great Wait, just, just one one more thing before you really close it off i okay. i think we could mention the twitter spaces we'll we'll be doing regular twitter spaces so we had a poll up uh, on uh, telegram so the first one was uh, which day um you would like and i think uh, just by by a little uh one of uh, uh, friday one just uh, ahead of uh, of monday so it looks like having them on Fridays and now the poll is up uh, what time of the day so um, we put this up um, I think today in the morning so it's not even the 24 hours I think it, it, it still might change a bit because now the, the the people that were sleeping before will come and they'll probably <laughs> want some different times but right now it's 6 p.m uh, Central Europe time is is, is winning by quite a good margin um so let's see i hope you're free on friday afternoon yes we'll see <laughs> okay so thank you very much uh, sandy and thank you all of you for being with us today have a great uh, day and of course looking forward sandy to all the information is coming from you in the week to come bye -bye. thank you bye 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 <laughs>